Hey guys, welcome back to this space. If you're new here, my name is Nam. I make videos about spirituality, well-being, and when I can travel some more, there'll be some travel videos as well. Madrid and I have been taking some time to rest and repair actually something that I didn't expect to happen on this trip. I was meant to be working and I have been extremely under the weather and when your body talks to you you must listen. So I have been sleeping a lot, eating plentiful, getting back in tune with my body, recognizing that there's a shift in the seasons and trying to move with that. So yeah, I've been enjoying my time here to rest and to repair. Uh, today's video is gonna be about hollering at the universe so the universe can holler at you. I, during this time, have been deepening my connection so much consciously for the most part but not realizing actually how loud the universe and the spirit guides and the cosmic guides can get when you really allow them to guide you so i had a night with my best friend and her sister my sisters really and i was just like you know i just need to sit and meditate and tune in and a lot of things have been coming up for me again and again that need to be resolved. And I was just like, you know what? I just wanna like have a release. And so I had this idea for us to sit and meditate together and do some breath work and then write down some things that we wanna release and then do what we want with them, either burn them, fold them, put them away, throw them, in the bin, whatever, but just something to like get our feelings out onto paper. We weren't going to discuss them with one another. It was just nice to like kind of have company to do this with. So uh, we sat, I lit some candles, I got an incense to clear the space. And I also pulled out my angel cards just in case one of us was called for a reading. And we did some breath work. It was one that I learned in a pod the podcast that I speak about in one of my previous videos with Hella Weston. My nose is still quite bunged up, so I'm sorry if that's um, a bit awkward for you. I'm drinking a turmeric milk. So with this breath work, you breathe for 10 counts, or 10 breaths, and then you hold your breath. It's not holding your breath, so it's like breathing out. So you're not sucking a breath in and then holding that in. You're actually pushing your breath out and then holding without breathing in for 10 seconds. Then you do that for 20 breaths and 20 seconds, 30 breaths, and then you kind of just don't breathe for as long as feels comfortable to you. Following that, we did a five minute meditation, which genuinely felt like forever. <laughs> and then we tuned into our higher guides our higher self and ask for any guidance and I felt so calm after this breathwork and meditation I genuinely w went into this thinking that I'm gonna write this letter that to this person that I will never see and they will never receive the letter but I was like I'm just gonna write it to release and then I'm gonna release some anger in this letter and just like really let it out and then when i came out of the meditation i was just like hmm, i actually feel really calm and then i started writing and then when i say i got this this is when my higher self this is when my guides came through i need to find it actually sometimes you just need to let yourself write or speak or feel and just tune into what is really true so i literally wrote dear spirit guides and cosmic guides i understand that everything you place on my path is a lesson and i was literally gonna go on to say but sometimes it's a little bit annoying because it can be really hard 
So I wrote, I understand that everything you place on my path is a lesson. These situations can at times be very easy and very difficult. And then that's when my higher self came through. This ongoing lesson you show me about placing my power in the hands of others. And then I put, as I write this, I see clearly. You have shown me this in the way of family and I have overcome this. You've shown me this in the way of romantic relationships and I have overcome this. You are now showing me this in the way of friendships and I will too overcome this. And then I just thank the universe and continue to write more about the scenario and how I understand why they chose for this lesson to happen right now, for this lesson to happen with this specific person. And I think taking a moment to actually just tune in to the guidance that you could possibly be receiving and be blocked from is so important because when I was writing that, I, it literally just all made sense to me. And I've been going through this particular situation for like two months now. And then I write this down and I was just like, oh, wait a minute. How have I just learned the reason that this is actually happening? And it's because the universe works through you in mysterious ways and me giving myself the tools to be able to cultivate more space for higher guidance to come through that's when it came through when you're not giving yourself the moments of stillness whether that's meditating being in nature practicing yoga whatever that is something that stills your outside world to allow your channel to be open nothing is going to come through which is why i say you need to holler at the universe so the universe can holler at you because we have free will this information can come through if if it's if you're already naturally just connected this information does tend to come through but the moment that you take some time to consciously be aware of information that could come through to you the information will come through but you have to ask so i have consistently for the past two months been asking and allowing these energies to come into my life and i just am blown away even though it makes so much sense but there was another thing that happened the other day and i'm not going to share it just yet i'm going to share it in a couple of months when i arrive at this space because it was just another amazing way that the more you connect the your guides and the universe like literally want to help you they want to work with you they want you to improve your life and they want you to help people around you so when you ask you shall receive genuinely this thing that happened this thing this manifestation that happened this wasn't even a manifestation this was literally me i asked for something and i received it but this was on a scale that I have no control over these situations. I have no control because this is to do with something on the other side of the world, to do with... I'm not, like, I cannot make these decisions, I cannot shift these decisions. And I literally asked for something to happen. And when I explain it to you in a couple of months, your mind is going to be blown. I'm just not ready to share it right now. So ask for what you need and what you want. And just remember this, I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but the universe will not give you something that is not meant for you. Just remember that. And if you do receive something that is not meant for you, that your path is going to be met with a lot of resistance. If you are asking for something that you want, 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 even though you know that it's it could not be what you need for your path and you receive it, your path is going to be turbulent. Remember that whatever you welcome into your path should be for your highest good. So you ask, I sat last night and I asked, I asked for something and then I was just like, okay, only if that is meant for me, only if that will propel me on my path, only if that will be the right thing for me. Otherwise, what's the point? You will learn your lessons through the things that should be on your path. You don't need to detour and do all these other things. Just tune into yourself. You really do know. So 
I would love to invite you to try this practice of channeling your higher guidance through a little bit of breath work and then a short meditation and writing and letting it flow because my sisters also had crazy insights. Because your mind is clear, your higher self is able to come through. It's amazing. And we also each had angel card readings and it was pretty insane. It was pretty beautiful. I would like to do something like that once a week. I like to do it. I like to do these kind of things with people because the, the vibrations are so much stronger, but sometimes if you're by yourself, it's still just as powerful. I just wanted to share that little snippet into what I've experienced the past couple of days with asking and receiving and tuning into the universe and acknowledging that you are welcoming the things onto your path that are meant for you, even if it means that it's not how you imagine things or not how you want things, everything will happen for your highest good. If you're just like, I asked for this, but I received this, know that there is a lesson in that. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. As always, I appreciate your time and energy so much. And I hope this helped you in some way. I really hope that you try this practice. I really hope that you find that your higher guidance comes through. I know you will if you let yourself, if you put your guards down and you let yourself you will receive some higher guidance. Whether you go into it thinking about a specific situation or not, your higher self will come through and tell you what you need to know. Just tune in, just be open and receive the gifts that the universe has to offer. And I'll see you in the, ve in the next video. <laughs> I'm a little bit tired today. I'll see you guys in the next video and I can't wait. Thank you.